Ian uh, Almagro said that the that he invoked this democratic charter against uh, against Venezuela because of democratic order. He said it's been gravely affected in the country. Now, when he says that, what does that what does that mean, and how substantial are those? accusations coming from this organization, coming from him. Well, Cody, this is really unprecedented. The Democratic Charter of the OAS has never, as you mentioned before, ever been used against a sitting government, a democratically elected government, without its consent. There are basically two ways that charter can be applied. One is the government itself requesting this kind of intervention, this kind of help, because it sees a, a situation uh, that, that threatens stability or whatever. That's obviously not the situation here. The Venezuelan government hasn't done that. Uh, the second situation, which, which, would, uh, which, which can justify the, the use of the democratic charter, is when there has been a, a grave alteration of the constitutional order. In that case, the Secretary General or any member state can, can, can uh, uh, use the, invoke the, the democratic charter. But that grave alteration of the constitutional order has always, always in the past, been understood to mean some kind of interruption, a coup, eh, si a kind of governmental collapse, an interruption in the constitutional continuity of a government. Uh, uh, and that I, certainly isn't the case as far as uh, the Venezuelan government or indeed anyone else can see in Venezuela. What, what Luis Almagro seems to be arguing in that long 132-page de uh, the, the institution dispute between the president, the, the executive, and the National Assembly, the parliament, in itself somehow constitutes an interruption uh, or rather an alteration of the constitutional order. As I say, the Venezuelan government will certainly not accept that. It's difficult to see why other governments in the in the region would accept that because that could open a whole Pandora's box in their own particular situation as well. However, that said, of course, the, 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 the balance of forces in the region has changed recently, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Interesting, especially considering the war of words recently between Almagro and, and Maduro. Uh, Ian, how will this affect, what's the feeling on the ground here, and how will this decision affect internal politics in Venezuela? Well, uh, as you know, there's already an intense dispute in Venezuela. Uh, I think uh, many people feel this will only stoke the, the, the fires. Uh, uh, there was a demonstration by transport workers today in Caracas. It wasn't called around this, it was called around transport issues, support for the government's transport policies and so on and so forth. Uh, but it, it became very much uh, also a demonstration against, uh, against this decision by, by Luis Almagro to invoke the Democratic Charter, which they see very clearly as, as foreign intervention and meddling in, in Venezuela's internal affairs. I mean, that's one part of the population. But I think there is a wide sentiment in Venezuelan society, as in many parts of Latin America, of course, which doesn't like the idea of foreign meddling, foreign interference. So there is, in that sense, a possibility that this kind of move could actually backfire in, 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 in the against the opposition. And it was the opposition, after all, who went to, to the OAS and asked Almagro to take this these steps. But it's not a popular, uh, even across the political divide, I think, to see uh, you know, foreign, too much foreign meddling and interference. So that actually may, may, may work against them. And indeed, President Maduro himself announced today that he wants to take legal action against the leadership of the National Assembly for what he calls usurping the president's power by taking this kind of, of action, uh, or indeed even, even for treason. It, was there any word from Almagro? What about the situation in Brazil? Has the organization responded similarly following uh, what many people call a legislative coup there? Um, and could the Democratic Charter be invoked there? Is there any indication that that could happen? Not at all, Kevin. Not at all. I mean, I think I, it's, it's ironic, isn't it? I mean, because obviously in Brazil there has been an interruption of the constitutional order. Of course, the people responsible for that argue that it went through constitutional procedures. Many people think that, that, that those constitutional procedures were grossly abused. But the, 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 there certainly was an interruption of the constitutional order in Brazil, uh, and, and, and that hasn't drawn any word from the OAS. I think this tends to confirm the view of many here in Venezuela and in other parts, for example, in other uh, countries where there's been a move towards the left over, over the last decade and a half, uh, that the, the OAS is really an organization, I mean, uh, it was referred to as the Ministry of Colonies of the United States, uh, as, as an instrument essentially for promoting the interests of the North, of the United States, and its allies in the region, 
and of trying to do what it can to block initiatives that go against that. So I don't think that will be much of a surprise that it makes this distinction between what happened in Brazil and what's happening in Venezuela. An unprecedented move today by the Organization of American States. Ian Bruce there reporting in our newsroom. Ian, thank you.